I am back on YouTube and I'm trying to do something a little bit different so today we're going to do a day in the life of Scott Redding in off season in California I've just made my coffee I've made my morning drink that has all my bits and bobs in um, and now I'm going to head into the gym now and get my morning strength workout done I don't go to the gym that much I go to the gym two three times a week this morning when I go to the gym I go fasted so basically I don't eat since um, 7 or 8 p.m. last night and I just have coffee with under 50 calories because I believe over 50 calories breaks a fast so I had like this nice coffee cream with it's only 25 calories just to make me feel like I've had something and then I'll train with no food and I have breakfast after the gym before I go on the bike in my drink what I have is branch chain amino acids I have one scoop in the morning one scoop in the afternoon that helps for recovery I have matcha powder and cordyceps I think that's what it's called what else did I chuck in there oh creatine obviously a lot of people like creatine why is he taking that it'll be heavier yada 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 so I take creatine in the off season just to help the muscles also to build up my strength and then when I come into race season I will taper out of creatine the gym that I go to you can see is pretty cool and got a lot of equipment that I need to use in the gym I'm doing squats a lot of the time I just build my weight up gently and I'm aiming between five and seven reps nothing more really these I do the same and I work to be explosive I'm not looking to really build but I want to get explosive power When I'm doing deadlifts, again, I'm not doing super heavy. I'm just looking to try to be explosive coming up. I've um, got to be very careful of my back in this. I probably could work on my position a bit more, to be honest with you. Here we're doing lunges with weight. This I'm using again to be explosive, um, just to get firing ready for race season. And same again here, just dropping off and exploding over a little step. Um, yeah, these hurt the calves too. So here we finished the training, 483 calories, just under two hours. I keep everything logged so I can track it as the day goes on. Thank you. So that is the gym done and dusted. The jelly leg, not too bad. Didn't go too hard. Um, just been ramping up the weight really in the off season step at a time. Now I'm gonna go home Hopefully the wife has cooked me some breakfast. If not, that means I'm on the on the pans and that ain't ever a good sign. Good morning. Hi. We're in. The wife. The wife is cooking. Got a couple of little eggs on there. Good morning. Woke up a bit late, 10 a.m. Okay, a little popcorn machine that we got on that yesterday. It looks pretty banging actually. There's a bit of that. What else we have in the house? We have a, what's this called? Bar cart. Fire pit, which is pretty nice. Make smalls on there. Still got all the chairs out from when we had everyone over for the wedding. A little barbecue was a wedding gift from Jace's dad. My fitness pal, I logged my food. So today started fasted, breakfast, two fried eggs, added everything bagel, put that in, spinach, bagel. So this is an everything bagel, it's got like seasoning on the top, two eggs from protein, and the bagel's just got basically some carbs to replenish what I've just been doing in the gym. That was 450 calories, so pretty decent really, fills me up. Um, now on to my supplements, what do I have? Quite a few. A B6, iron, B12, ashwagandha I think is the name, and then I have cod liver oil, those four ginger root 
and Maka. A few more. Smooth. I get changed quickly and then see where the boys are, meet up, and I will see you on the road. What's up, bro? All good? Awesome, you ready? Man. We're ready to go, man. So we're in Westlake. Intervals just about to start. Cadence intervals. Marco's going to join me and uh, just going to do laps on the flat so we can just hit the program that I need to hit. So I better get on with it. It's not very comfortable. That's not fun, but that's what makes you fast. So we've just finished the intervals now and uh, Marco suggested we go for the old recovery trick that he always used and got me onto it. So we, we have a little rice milk and a vegan protein and yeah because of the carbohydrates in it it's good for the recovery and there's loads of other magic that Marco knows that I don't. Marco does like training camps. Correct. Training yeah. camps. Yeah. So Marco's going to tell you a little bit about what he does. I mean, if you come out here and join me in one of these camps, I'll not only show you the best places to ride in Southern California, but also I'll teach you about performance nutrition and what's it going to take for you to either lose weight, get you know better race performance and race day, get better out of your workouts, and then how to integrate everything together on your everyday life. You know, that's what the little things that make the difference between your average rider or your elite rider. Or even if you're not an elite rider, but you're a guy that has, you know, a goal in mind about how do I go from here to there. Sometimes you realize nutrition is a big key. So my camps focus about performance nutrition and specifically being pound based. So I think it's one of those things that you can always take to the next level. So join me either here, Southern California, or if you have a bucket list adventure, let me know and I'll put it together for you. Back now from the ride, just got home. So again, it is a bit of food time. So now I'm gonna go for these, which are organic and cinnamon toast, peanut butter on there. I'm toying with the idea of peanut butter or almond butter. I don't, I try to have a bit more fat in winter season because then when it's like race season, it's more like carbs orientated like with the cycle racing constantly could add a little like banana and honey to this but like i said i'm really trying to make the most of like dieting right now so not dieting too hard because it always comes back and bites you um but i don't want to add extra stuff that i don't need to so i just keep it like this it's pretty tasty anyway so let's see where we're at today I went to the gym just under two hours. I burned 500 calories. My cycling, second part of the training today, the total time of two hours and 44 minutes, 74 kilometers, and I burned 1,600 calories during that workout. So today, totally, I've burned 2,000 100 calories and I've eaten 1,500 calories. What are you making? Bruschetta. Look at that. I am a lucky man when it comes to these things. Should we put the bruschetta? Some slider things. All your Italian fans are going to cringe at you saying it that way. What? Bruschetta? Yeah. Bruschetta. No. no. Bruschetta. Yeah. Now nah, I'm on man duty now. I've been showered. We've got all these boxes. We had a, a lot of wedding gifts. So if you see this big thank you for our wedding gifts. It's been amazing. Been getting stuff built up and done. And then we got BG's big box service dropped off this morning because our bins are fully loaded. So now we've got to move all that in there. And then there is some cement bags in there, which I don't know if these pipes have got it. Might have to be a two man job. Holy 
smoke that is heavy you can smell some banging food coming from it now it's like real good like i making me grumble and i come in and this is what i say my problem is when jc gets behind the cooker and she starts what are they vegan burger things yes yeah, so you can imagine this storm that was smelling up and i was outside like I need some of that. But I'm done now. I'm going to wash up my hands, probably do a little roll out, and then we're going to head over to my house. So, non stop today. So, we have arrived. I have a cheese bean dip. Looks very hot. What else is in there? Vegan bean cheese. Be careful. Go throw. Full. Some those. Wait, is it time to eat now? Looks good. Everyone's hungry if you can't tell. Why are you so on my phone? She's so tall. Just made the slider vegan thing pretty good. Or down or diagonal. Ben, make sure you ask if you don't. If you well, don't. So you can win this way, though. Each other in this way. Do you help your brother, way. please? But the B doesn't go down. No, B is only here. N38. Yeah. That would be impressive. Mm -hmm. That's okay. <laughs> it would. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's your card. This is what I was talking about. Try it. That is a big problem because I like my sweet stuff, as you can see. We're he is, done. He is in big trouble now. We're done. <laughs> he is in big trouble. Oh my god. <laughs> She's coming out. Oh. You better pick that up, bro. He's in big trouble. I'm moving out of there. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta get out of there. He's in big trouble. I won the blackout jackpot, baby. Yeah, she she won the real deal. Taco Bell gift card for 15 bucks, and then two uh, Target two tar gift cards. Targets. So, all in all, we had a good evening. We've got to pack up everything now, and then we're gonna head back home. Everyone's running crazy. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm just changing my chain. It's got a couple of kinks in it and it's done so many miles. I really should have changed it before. So I'm just giving that a little uh, wipe down. Just gonna like, just clean a little bit. This is amazing for getting the grease off the chain. So it's not really ideal. Don't have the resources right now, but we'll be good enough. So I'll be rolling out tomorrow at 8 a.m. and it all starts all over again. Sat down and I'm going through my calories and stuff today. Obviously I can't put a real number on because it was like kind of party food style. So I probably overestimated quite a bit. So my dinner has come to 1,800 calories. I would rather over calculate than under calculate. You can see that. Still 500 in the pocket. Not too bad, but I feel like I let myself down a little bit today, which was a bit annoying. Yeah, hit the protein quite high in the carbs, which that's okay because tomorrow we're going quite hard on the ride. So um, I'm okay with the carbs being that high. The fat's a little bit high, um, but the rest is pretty decent. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life in my off season. I hope I gave you some quite detailed parts to my day about my food and my supplements and that not everyone is perfect, I guess. I tried to keep it as real as possible. I didn't do like no special day today. Like that was literally as it comes. If you want to subscribe, do. If you don't, don't. If you want to like, like. If you don't, don't you can comment that's always great like let me know what you want to see because coming next year i would like to do a couple more vlogs have a couple more ideas coming up 
Um, but just let me know and if you've got any tips for what I can maybe do is also like I'm all ears like be great to hear something so thank you all and ciao for now